Today's the 17th? Yeah. Uh, today is Wednesday, June 17th. Uh, we're with Engine Alliance President Dean Athens at the Paris Air Show. Thanks for being with us, Dean. Uh, could you comment a bit about the uh, the recent order by Emirates with your competitor, uh, how you competed for that order, and what that means for Engine Alliance? Great. Uh, thank you, Ernie. Thank you, Addison. Uh, thanks for asking the question. Uh, we competed hard, very, very hard for the Emirates order. Uh, Emirates is our largest customer, and the Emirates GP fleet is going to be the largest uh, propulsion system fleet on the A380 for G for GP or for, for Rolls-Royce. Like I said, we competed very, very uh, hard for that campaign. Uh, we dug deep and uh, listen, um, Emirates selected uh, our competitor uh, because they got a terrific deal. So, uh, you know, we're, we're happy for Emirates, uh, but at the same time, we're, we're anxious for the head-to-head -head comparison. We have a lot of confidence in our product. Uh, we continue to grow uh, both reliability, durability, and performance. Um, in conducting this campaign, we did a lot of engineering work. And we created a lot of new capabilities of things that we can do going forward, uh, both for our airline customers as well as addressing the needs of Airbus uh, product uh, product strategy for the A380. So, listen, we all we all would have loved to won, but we we are we were able to come out of this with our head held high, and our team is full of energy. And, and we are confident that we still have the, a great product and the best solution for the A380 today. What kind of product improvements came out of that process, Dean, and what do those mean for your, uh, for your engine uh, as you go forward? Yeah, uh, well, well, it means that, that our engine now has access to new technologies that have been developed by our parent companies who are both been investing heavily in new engine programs and new technology. And there's really no limit to that technology. And, and in you know some previous uh, discussions, there's been some limitations on the willingness to apply certain technologies. That's no longer a limitation for us. Our limitation is what what makes sense economically, what provides the best benefit, what's most efficient in terms of a, a, bus a business case. So um, you know we've done a lot of work developing product strategy, and we've taken that one step further. So we've actually done some detailed preliminary designs looking at what um, design and configuration changes would, would be possible throughout the engine, and we've created a new performance stack that, that we can run ourselves and we can also pass along to Airbus and they can run in their airplane models to determine what capabilities the engine has and what that means for the A380 aircraft. And so we are now ready to respond with those technologies, different levels, different business cases, and, and be consistent with whatever strategy that Boeing decides going forward for the A380, yeah. we're ready. Uh, in terms of uh, in terms of the uh, the A380, we've heard a number of uh, discussions, potential Neo. We've heard uh, potential discussions of, of a stretch yesterday from uh, from Steve Upahatsi. Uh We've got uh, lots of things going on in the in the airplane. Uh, can you give us your thoughts on uh, how you'll be ready for that and? Uh, where does Engine Alliance stand in terms of the potentialities for these developments with Airbus? Well, we're, we're in a great place, and you know we often say in this industry that we we stand on the shoulders of giants. So we we've only gotten this far by a lot of really great work uh, by people at both our parent companies, and, and we're uh, benefit tremendously from that. Um, the GP seven thousand engine has a super foundation. Um, for both our parent companies and, and furthermore when we developed the GP we sized it right for growth on the A380. Uh, we've got thrust, thrust growth um, capability, we've got great operability, so if we need more thrust, if we need to support a different mission, the A380 is a gr or the GP7000 is a great foundation and platform to support uh, a stretch, um, to support growth, uh, you know, different uh, gross weights for the aircraft. Um, we're ready and we've got that capability built in to the current architecture. Where do you see Engine Alliance 10 years from now? I, I see it exactly where it is today. Um, you know, we've, you know we've, we've invested a lot in this engine and the technology and the product strategy going forward. Uh, we have great people. We absolutely, it doesn't matter whether you're in Hartford or Cincinnati, we have absolute first-rate people and talent supporting the program. We've got high energy, um, and we've got excitement. And 
we got passion um, to, to do exciting things going forward. And, and there's, uh, so we see it exactly where it is today. Um, hopefully with, uh, with, 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 with some, you know, more campaigns for us to compete on and, and the chance to, to grow the order backlog. Thanks for being with us, Pete. It's my pleasure. Thank you.